you may ask yourself how to make an infinite loop. For example, if you want these three squares go there and then get off from left to right and begin again here. Of course, a loop is easy to do, but there will be a gap problem. We're going to see how to fix that problem. First of all, you need to set up a symbol. No matter the color of the rectangle, just right click on it and convert to a symbol. This is symbol one. Go into symbol one by double clicking on that. We are in the, into the symbol one. We can get rid of the rectangle that we don't need to use it anymore. And we will place our three squares on the left. Here, we're going to set up the beginning of the animation and the end of the animation. Automatically, because these two icons are activated, we have an automatic animation. And here, let's set up a loop. So a playback, a play symbol to zero, which means the beginning and we have our loop. If we check up what is happening in the browser, it works, but we have that gap. How to get rid of that gap? Let's do it very easily. We have here a symbol one. Go back to the stage and this symbol one will be duplicated. We have now a symbol two. Let's put this symbol two on the stage same position what we want for the symbol two that we're gonna hit it is that uh, in this case we don't want an autoplay and let's go back to the stage and uh, we don't need these two keyframes uh, let's see what is happening the symbol one is uh, coming here at that time we want this one to play here let's say play there is a loop for the second one so now we have our infinite loop let's check in the browser the first symbol then the second one the first is looping the second one is looping everybody is looping so there is no problem we have our infinite loop if you want to act on this loop it would be preferable to have these two symbols symbol one and symbol two uh, grouped into a bigger symbol that you could act on but for now to me it sounds okay hope you like it and uh, see you next time bye